All right, we've talked about the state of nature, your obligations, or your rights, excuse me, your rights, uh, your duties, very few of them, uh, in the state of nature. Okay, uh, what about the state of war? How does one enter the state of war? Now, in the, in the state of war, what happens is, you know, one person tries to usurp, overthrow the authority or the sovereignty of, of another, right? And this probably I mean, always, always, always happens, has to happen by force. I mean, I suppose one person could say, I'm going to make your decisions now. It's like, what are you going to do about it? If, you know, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> probably not really enter the state of war. It's when you start using force right, uh, uh, to enter the state of war. Right? Um, and uh, that's what happens in the state of war is one person tries to overthrow or replace the sovereignty of another. And, you know, it's like, well, you know, what would even be the justification for us? I mean, the very grounds of it is somehow in the sense that I am more important than you are. Right? That, that's seemingly the grounds uh, for something like that. Okay, so the enter the state of war when one person tries to overthrow, usurp the authority of another. All right. Uh, what about, uh, well, who gets to punish then? So one person tries to usurp the authority of another. This is a violation of the law of nature, right? Broken the law of nature at this point. Um, who gets to punish that person, right? Who has the right to person? Is it just the person, you know, just that one that was was in, was like the victim in this scenario? Well, no. Locke says no. It's not just that person. How about their family? Is it that family? So one one person murders another. Right? Does the family get to punish the murderer? No, I mean, they can, but not just them. Right? In the state of nature, everyone is a sovereign. If one person has a right, everybody has that right. So if one person has the right to punish, and somebody does in the case of the state of war, everybody has the right to punish in the state of war. If one person has the right, everyone has the right. No, there is no most important person. There is no judge over offenders, everyone, or no a single judge over offenders, everyone's a judge over the offender, everyone uh, can execute uh, punishment according to, uh, according, uh, for violations of the law of nature. And that is the state of war.